Hey everybody, happy Saturday on Alpha Gleasy Trains with Howard back there and um, we're going to look at the beginning of another O-scale structure. We're almost finished with the series with the client. I think we've got uh, one, two, three more to build, uh, not including this one. And this one is uh, called Otis Lifts on the website, zanestructures.com. But you don't have to call it Otis Lifts. You can call it anything you want. And it doesn't have to be an elevator. It can be anything. So let me stop talking and let's take a look at the beginnings of this magnificent structure. All right. This is a picture. Of, Howard, I forgot. How you doing, Howard? Oh, I'm, uh, I haven't died yet. All right. Now, now this is the, most all of these pictures of these structures are your HO prototypes, aren't they? Everyone in that thing was HO scale. Yeah, so folks, we can do them in HO scale or O scale. But it's interesting that uh, every single one of these photographs on Howard's page, zanestructures.com, uh, you can see the structures. And again, the HO ones and the O scale ones look exactly the same. But no two are built exactly the same. And... Let me pan back here and show you the beginnings of this. Let me add one thing. We can do S scale also. Okay. Because this scale would just be just a little bit larger than HO, and what we do is use larger doors. Mm -hmm. That's simple. I get those. In other, o scale has some small doors. We can oh. use it to work for S scale. Okay. But I just never had the call for S scale. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I we, we love S scalers out there, so you S scalers S -scale out there. S scale is the perfect size. It really is. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, but everything has to be scratch built. So many things. Well, there's a lot of companies now. Like uh, I can't remember. I don't follow the names. I read the I read the ads, and there's some very nice stuff. They have River Raisin. It does some beautiful S scale brass imports. Uh, mm -hmm. I think through Overland, and it's 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 quite it's quite lovely actually. That's and, good. That's good. Well, let's look at this thing here. This, this is, is um, number uh, what would be number thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, yeah, 13. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen or fifteen. Mm -hmm. Right. I we I thought there were sixty, but there's only fifteen. Okay. I'm not complaining. It's uh, it's wearing me out. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a big boy. It's about thirty two inches long. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it looks to be about maybe fifteen wide, maybe. Uh, let's see. I'll show you in a second. Uh, so for the HO dimensions, 18 you wide. eighteen wide. Overall. Mm -hmm. So overall, so if you're thinking of HO, you cut it in half. Cut it so. In half. Cut it in half, you'd be looking at nine inches by approximately eighteen inches, mm -hmm. and uh, it's typical. Howard does a you know, spectacular job bracing. If you want to pick it up, little. Howard, yeah, let's show. And you use the three eighths balsa. Three eighths balsa throughout. Mm -hmm. And it's so important, folks. I, I had a couple of my viewers write in, "Hey, I'm having trouble bracing stuff," and one of the things Howard taught me, and I said this in an earlier episode. I thought, ah, I'm an HO scale. I don't need to do as much bracing. No. And Howard laughed at me and said, that's going to warp like hell on you. And sure enough, once I started staining and painting it, my structure, I literally had to throw it out and redo it, Howard. So, folks, the bracing is critical. Well, if you're going to do something with stain, you don't want to stain it where the model is built after the model is built. Right. Because the, the glue causes a problem. So everything, if you're going to stain something, make sure you stain your strip wood and your sheet wood before. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, the the bracing. Now, the sheet wood will warp when you stain it. But then again, as it dries, it goes the other way. It goes right back. Mm -hmm. Right. And then once you uh, brace it, you can put some weights oh, on oh, yeah, it the bracing and hold it down. It right up. Mm -hmm. And uh, over on this side, we don't have our... our Lazy Susan set up today, but that's okay. Let's put it work. I got it right here. All right, let me let me pause it. Folks, here are the dormers. Now, Howard has a method he's teaching me to do dormers, and one day we'll get deeper into that. They do take a lot of time to do. Folks, you gotta remember the reason these structures cost what they cost, it takes a tremendous amount of time. You're looking at essentially greater part of a day to make a bunch of dormers. They're very time consuming to make. We don't have these laser cut, ready to go, one size fits all. Every single angle, every single dormer we make is custom made, right Howard, to the roof. Yes, Al, if I had a laser, I would not enjoy this. Right. That's why I quit flying, because of high tech. 
I was sitting there with my thing on my hand with nothing much to do except hand the pilot. I was flying as a co-pilot as I ended my first job as a jet pilot in a wow. corporation. And I was so friggin' bored, I quit it after 30 days, and that was the end of it. Right. I hung up my career. Because I saw a harbinger of things that come. A laser, anything like a laser would take the fun out of it. I don't want to do that. I'm strictly right. old-fashioned. I play old-fashioned music. music. Right. I play, uh, I'm a dinosaur, right. actually, and I enjoy being a dinosaur. And, and folks, because we don't have a laser, you know, we wind up cutting, we wind up cutting these exactly to whatever angle we need for that particular building so no two are exactly the same so this takes a tremendous amount of time to make and then you know howard and i have spent a full day together and it'll take a full day to make the walls and then you have a you know to brace the walls and make the walls number of hours in this would be somewhere around 50 hours right Between by the 40 and 50 hours right but by the time everything is done all the painting, all the staining, all the detailing. And that doesn't include the cost of the materials because the materials are expensive. Well, that's the big problem. Uh, the materials have gone up drastically since I did the website, which was about 15 years ago. Right. I mean, folks, you, 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 you don't, I'm sure if you take a trip to the hobby store, you will find that um, even when we buy this stuff in bulk, it is incredibly expensive. These balsa sheets, I mean, just these. Now, braces. Whoa, 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 These are not balsa sheets. No, the These balsa are... three by three, three sixteenths. Yeah, that's the strips. Right, the balsa yeah. strip. I mean, they're expensive. Nothing oh, is the, cheap. Uh, the, uh, the wood on the side is basswood. Mm. Yep, yep. So by the time you take into consideration all of the time, effort, and uh, materials that go into these structures, that's why they cost what they cost. Uh, folks, I'm going to be fire. Oh, let's turn this around, Howard, if you I can spin it. Dormers, huh? Yeah, let me let me pause this. We'll move here, the dormers. Here, Speaking of parts, folks, here's a number of doors and windows we're getting ready to paint for the building. And most of them are granite yeah, lined. Uh, gray, actually, but we have to paint them gray because we have different shades. Right. Okay, let's put these in here. These have gone up quite a bit as as well yeah. over the years. Oh, you know, yeah. The parts have gone up too. It's yep. All right, Howard, let's go ahead and do the, the price is right, lazy Susan. Uh, spin it around. Folks, I wish I had a beautiful model lady that could, you know, show us these, but you have to do with us. <laughs> now, this, we may keep it in Otis, in Otis elevators. It could be anything, actually, because I have all the pro proper graphics for Otis. Mm -hmm. I can do an Otis scale. But we did an Otis before. We did an Otis uh, wire rope company. Right. So this this thing over here, this giant piece here, this is the freight elevator. Mm. All right, let's spin it around a little more. All right, yep. So that's going to be the freight elevator. Mm -hmm. And then this section... Right. There'll be loading docks back here, obviously. Let's go ahead and keep spinning. Yep, that's what we were starting that's, that's with. the freight area. This is the main entrance here. Mm. This will be uh, the entrance over here. Yep, this go ahead area. and let's spin it all the way. I showed all the way all right folks the next time i fire up this we usually do these buildings in three sections probably the next time i fire this up it's going to be almost done and then i like to make a third and final video of the weathering and the structure after it's been weathered and keep in mind we're going to make additional videos once the structures are done we're going to be putting them on the gator foam and making small dioramas and then adding the lights. So, Howard, thanks for taking the time, and we will be back. Okay, you with... did mention, because every one of these will have, uh, when we finish all 15 buildings, then we do we set we set the shop up then for uh, doing scenery. Right. So it's a re relocation of just about everything, because we have all kinds of materials we have to use. And we're so, going to we're going to capture that, too, yeah, on the channel. Be, each one will be on half-inch gator board. Yes. Which will be a diorama. To ship this to California, we have figured out we're gonna we're gonna do an actual uh, over you know piece of cardboard and do the <laughs> overall dimensions and we lay it out. But I'm afraid we'll need a 16 by 12, uh, 16 foot uh, pod. Wow! So that's gonna be expensive. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, folks, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. And if you want anything custom built for you, please inquire at alpug1 at verizon.net. Again. If you want to inquire about having anything custom built, please contact me at alpug1 at verizon.net. Thanks, Howard. Oh, so you're quite welcome. Okay.